Hello, this is the second part of the famous algorithms tutorial series before object-oriented programming and now we make a maximum and minimum uh, selection algorithm. Alright, let's see. First of all, we need a variable called anything you want, but I call it max. This will be the maximum number. Okay and for now just stay like that we need a uh, array so from which we should start to search the maximum so array and make it 100 elements long all right make an include because we need the random number cstdlib Alright, and now just make a few random numbers to the array, so int i equals 0, i less than 100, i plus plus, like that, and uh, make array i equal rand hmm, 100, alright, and actually we need to see the random number generator alright and now make the max here the max selection starts make the maximum to the array 0 so the first element we assume that the first element is the biggest if not just change it alright and now a for loop which starts from 1 not 0 because we already assume that 0 is the smaller this will be the base of the the comparison so we comparate this max to the uh, array i and if it's bigger then set the max to array i alright we assume at the initialize that this is the first number alright i less than 100 you should use a constant like i didn't so const int n equal to 100 and just change and this change and this and this all right uh, i pl uh, plus plus right and now if uh, array i is bigger than max then we just simple uh, make the max to the array i the end we write out the biggest number is max and make a new line after it all right and that was it as i told you there is just one statement inside this for loop so one statement inside the for loop this is the if inside if there is just one statement this is the max Alright, but I think that you understand that from the earlier tutorial. Save it and compile it. Okay, what do we... Oh, not a array. I usually called my arrays A. Alright, let's run it. The biggest number was 997. We could make sure that this is work great if we write out uh, this random number. So, mm. count array i and make a oh make a new line after it or a few new lines like that and now 
if we compile and run the program here is all the numbers and we can make sure sure that oh that this number was the biggest so let's see hmm all right i can see the number but there is somewhere here it should be ah get it it is here okay this is the biggest number and i see it work well because that is the biggest number oh uh, i think this is uh, this algorithm is too simple to be uh, complex complicated so first we assume that this is the biggest number and then go through from here to here with a for loop and check that it is bigger than max if so then make max to that number in this case it is bigger than 144 which is uh, 12 times 12 and yeah it is bigger then this is this becomes the max we check that it, this is bigger no so we go through here and we check is it bigger yeah it is bigger so make max to that number then goes here it is bigger it is bigger so we make max that number it's not bigger and this is bigger so makes max that and make max that and actually this is the final result because this is the biggest number the four loops goes through all of them and both uh, smaller than the max number sometimes you should store the index value instead of the maximum number in this case you of course don't have to but for example case of user defined type you should so let's see for example we can use the zero instead of array zero like that and we will use the array uh, max like that and not make max array i we just simply make it i so we modify the program so it will store the index number it is useful when you uh, work with user defined types and you don't want to store the entire type you just want to store the index numbers and if we run the uh, compile and run the program again we should get this uh, similar result as you can see there is nothing change although we store the index number not the actual biggest number all right thanks for watching and have a great day